What's up guys, my name is Justin Graziano and I'm a product photographer. If you guys are new to this channel, I do a lot of tutorials and what... Wait, did you guys, did you guys hear that? What was that? What the heck? What's going on here? Oh my gosh, that looks like a... What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video with the new season of Stranger Things, I thought it would be pretty fun to shoot some Stranger Things themed product photography. So a couple months ago, I picked up this Garbage Pail Kid vinyl collectible and I thought it'd be super fun to shoot it inside a setting that resembled the upside down. And I also thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to mess around with some RGB lighting. So recently Pixel reached out to me asking if I was interested in trying out their Pixel P80 RGB lights and these are going to be perfect for achieving that red and blue hue so that we can recreate the look and feel that you see in those Stranger Things posters. And for those of you that don't actually have access to RGB lights, don't worry. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to show you a way that you can achieve the same exact look inside Photoshop but without using any RGB lights. So for the set design, I want to create something that resembles the upside down. So using props that resemble vines and weeds is a good place to start. So for my foreground, what I'm going to be using is this fake asphalt texture that I built. Basically all it is is some cork board that I distressed and spray painted to look like asphalt. And then for all the vines and weeds, I'm going to be using some Spanish moss and some fake greenery that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. So using the Spanish moss, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a pathway leading up to my product which is the Demogorgon. And then it's also gonna help resemble all the weeds and the vines growing in the upside down. So now that our set design is done, we can get into lighting. So using these RGB panels, it makes it super simple to add that red and blue hue that you see in those Stranger Things posters. And the way that I'm going to do that is by using the Pixel LCS app. You can adjust the color of these lights a various amount of ways, like using the color wheel or using the eyedrop feature, which basically allows you to use the camera in your phone to take a picture of the color that you want to use and automatically sets the light to that color. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the packaging from this product and I'm gonna eyedrop the red and blue from the packaging so that we can set the hue for this photo perfectly. So now that I have my colors picked out on my lights, basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both these lights and set them behind my product at about a 45 degree angle so that it adds a nice rim light to my product. And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna separate my product from the background and also add that nice red and blue hue that you see in the Stranger Things posters. And so to add a little bit more of a natural hue to this photo and to break up that red and blue, I'm gonna take a pixel liberal light set to about a 56 Kelvin, and then I'm gonna set that up directly above my product so that adds a little bit more natural light to this photo. So if you're just starting out in product photography, using something like the Pixel P80 is a great place to start. They're continuous lights versus something like a flash which sends out bursts of light, which can be a little bit more difficult to control when you're just starting out. So using continuous lights basically allows you to make changes in real time and allows you to see all those adjustments in camera. So starting here is a great way to figure out what lighting works for you and then down the line you can upgrade to a flash which produces a little bit higher quality of light and will allow you to capture things like motion and splash photography. And if you guys are ever interested in checking out my camera settings, those are always attached to the bottom of my screen in my photo previews. So alongside of the main photos that I took of the Demogorgon, I also took a picture of each of those gaming dice. Basically what I did was I took a little bit of sticky tack and a toothpick, and then I just photographed them at various different angles around the Demogorgon so that I could Photoshop them in post. So now that I have all my photos taken, we can start editing. I like to keep this part pretty simple, so basically all I did here was I did my basic color corrections and then I added a couple radial masks to the face just to help it pop a little bit more. So now that all my basic color corrections are done, what I like to do now is take things over into Photoshop. So to do this, all you need to do is highlight all the photos that you want to edit, right click, go to edit in, and then open as in layers in Photoshop. All I want to do here is to add a little bit of fog and some of those floating particles like you see in the upside down. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead and download some assets from something like Element Envato's or Shutterstock 
and these are super easy to apply. All you have to do is to take them and overlay them on your photo and change the blend mode to screen. And you may need to finesse these layers just a little bit more using some adjustment layers. This will basically help you match the proper tone and look that you're going after and will elevate your photo to the next level. And then the last few things I did was I took the individual dice photos that I took and then I cut those out using the pen tool. And as an extra element, I decided to take a picture of this book and a garage pill kid card. I think that this tied things together pretty nicely. And for those of you that don't have access to RGB lights but want to get a similar effect, you can do this simply by adding some adjustment layers in Photoshop. You'll still need to light the photo with some nice highlights, but once you get over to Photoshop, all you're going to need to do is to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, select colorize, adjust the color to your needs, and then invert the mask to black, and then using a white brush, paint on the mask where you want the highlights to come through. This method has come in handy plenty of times for me in situations where I couldn't add RGB lighting, so it's a nice addition to add to your bag of tricks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. I actually had my first photography job back in the day photographing vinyl collectibles just like these, so it was pretty nice to visit my roots again. And if you guys are interested in checking out these Pixel RGB lights, I'll make sure to link them down in the description below with all the other gear that I use for this video. They've actually become a pretty nice addition to my studio, and I've already used them on a couple jobs so far. And if you guys are interested in learning anything else from me, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm always so happy to hear from you guys. And if you guys haven't yet, please like this video and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.